Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. In today's episode, I'm asking you a question, and that question is, can great leaders be gentle? Are you ready? Let's get started. Here's that question again. Can great leaders be gentle? Listen, if you make a list of adjectives to describe great leaders, gentle probably isn't on that list. I mean, when you think of gentle, what do you think of? Do you think of things like soft or mellow or mild? And are those what you might necessarily think of as desirable leadership traits? Well, I'm asking this question. I bet you're guessing that I'm going to take us in a different direction. And that's what I'm going to do. Recently, I heard this definition of gentleness from Pastor Matt Hessel. He said, gentleness is strength under control. And when he said that, I had to immediately write it down. I love that. Gentleness is strength under control. As a leader, we have strength, positional strength and power, and Aren't we more effective when we are under control? So does that definition, gentleness is strength under control, change your thinking? L let me give you a couple of examples. First, what do you do as a leader when a mistake is made? When someone on the team makes a mistake, do you get uh, upset? Do you get ready to come bring the hammer down? Or, do you, or even do you just react in a way that doesn't necessarily create the best environment for learning from the mistake, as a simple example, right? So we can certainly use that positional power, let our initial reactions come out, and it's probably not going to be very gentle. Yet, if we use our strength or our power for good, by not yelling, by being a little more under control, by being a little more intentional and conscious, perhaps, we'll get a better result, right? The question then becomes, can we lead and be influential without yelling or pushing or demanding? And I think you know the answer to that is yes. In fact, chances are now you would say, yeah, I don't want a leader who yells, who pushes, who demands. Maybe gentle is not such a bad idea. Consider these thoughts about characteristics for leaders, like a leader who is trusting, a leader who is encouraging, a leader who is listening. And if you take those ideas, trusting and encouraging and listening, those, I will tell you, are gentleness in action. Uh, let me close with today's tweet. Great leaders keep their strength under control for the good of the team and their results. Listen, I hope you found this episode valuable, and if so, I hope you'll come back. But if you loved this I'm betting you'd love my daily email. Yep, five days a week, short email, 300 words or less, far less time than it took for you to watch this video to get information, inspiration, and ideas to help you have a more effective day and be a more effective leader. I hope you'll join us there, and I hope you'll join us back here next week for another episode of the Remarkable Leadership Podcast and Remarkable TV.